Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In today's Fallout 76 video, I'm going to be sharing you, sharing with you guys my honest opinion on the Fallout 76 beta. Now, there really was no Fallout 76 news today, and as many of you on the channel know, when there is no Fallout 76 news to report, we like to come up with our own Fallout 76 video idea. And in today's video, and for today's video idea, I wanted to talk about and give you guys my honest opinion and thoughts on the Fallout 76 beta. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now, please hear me out. I am in no way, shape, or form disappointed with the Fallout 76 beta whatsoever. I might be a tiny bit upset with it, and we'll talk about it in a second, but I'm not upset, like, really, really upset at the Fallout 76 beta. In fact, I'm excited for it, and overall, uh, I am happy about the Fallout 76 beta news and information we got over the last couple of days. Now, the reason why I'm happy with the Fallout 76 beta the way it is is because... It far exceeds the expectations I had for the Fallout 76 beta. I set my, hey, hey, I, I don't know if I set my expectations low, but when it was originally announced that Fallout 76 would have a beta, I assumed it would be something like Call of Duty beta, where they allow you to play the game two days, you know, a month before the game's release. And I thought it was going to be the same way with Fallout 76, that we would get to play the game two days on a weekend, a be month before the game was released, and you know, we, we would kind of have to wait for a while after that. However, when it was announced that the Fallout 76 beta, and this is what I'm a little bit upset about, is that the Fallout 76 beta drops on October 30th for Xbox One users, and I mean October 23rd for Xbox One users, and October 30th for everyone else, PlayStation 4 and PC users. I'm upset that Xbox players are going to get, you know, to play it a week ahead of everyone else, but then again, I do understand that Bethesda has kind of like a relationship with uh, Microsoft, and I understand that they want to make their partner happy and keep that relationship healthy. That's completely understandable for a, from a business standpoint. Mm, I get that. But I wish we could, uh, you know, kind of all play the beta at the same time. I wish everyone could play it on the 23rd of October. But, you know, th th these things happen in, you know, the world of exclusivity and stuff like that when it comes to video games. So that's one thing I'm a little disappointed in. But that's the only thing I am disappointed in. Now, a lot of people are disappointed in the fact that the Fallout 76 beta is only going to be avail available for 48 hours a day. But you guys have to think about it. This beta is not going to be available for one week. It's not going to be available for two weeks. It's going to be available for about two and a half weeks. They said they're going to stop it just a few days before launch. So we're going to probably estimate it have about, they haven't confirmed it, but we're probably going to have about two and a half weeks to actually play the beta which is a good amount of time for a beta. Now, a lot of people, like I said, complain that it was only three to four hours a day, but like I said, it's gonna run for two and a half weeks, and the reason why Bethesda is doing it that way is so they could work out all the bugs and glitches within the game. They are taking the servers down each and every single day after that 48 hour period, so they could fix all the bugs and glitches reported within that 4 to 8 hour period. That way they'll be fixed when the servers go up the next day. And then they'll do the same thing the next day. They'll fix all the bugs and glitches reported that day. And when the servers go up the next day, they'll be fixed. And then they'll, you know, they'll keep on doing this pattern of, you know, taking down the servers, fixing the issues. Taking down the servers, fixing the issues. Taking down the servers, fixing the issues. And I'm okay with that. And the reason why I'm okay with that is because I would rather have a Fallout 76 game that works perfectly at launch than a very buggy one. I mean, I would rather have access to the beta four to eight hours a day than work out most of the bugs and kinks with the, with the game and Fallout 76 have a smooth, you know, non-glitchy launch on November 14, 2018, then have a beta that runs for two and a half weeks, 24 seven, and when the game comes out, it's a complete, you know, glitchy garbage mess because we all know bethesda has a really really weird history of having glitchy and buggy games when they come out and i i honestly would rather have a 48 hour you know days for two weeks two and a half weeks so they could fix all the bugs and glitches in it that way fallout 76 has a smooth launch rather than having a 24 7 beta which runs for two and a half weeks 
with when nothing is going to get fixed and then the game's just going to be a glitchy buggy mess when it comes out so yeah i'm okay that the beta is going to only run for 48 hours a day i'm a little upset that xbox users are going to get to play it first but from a business standpoint i understand that they have you know kind of this exclusivity deal with microsoft and i understand that they want to keep them happy because that probably puts a lot of money into their pockets and probably allows them to make the games we all know and love anyways that's just my thoughts on it uh i hope you guys uh, you know enjoyed my video for what it was um you don't have to agree with me i never make these videos saying that i'm right and you're wrong you guys could think whatever you want and i love the community that i have because everyone is always honest with me just like i'm always honest with them so your honest opinion about the fallout 76 beta leave it in the comment section down below do you guys agree with me do you guys see where i'm coming from uh, if you guys have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comment section down below. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember to stay freaky. Bye, everyone. I would like to also add in that I think it's really cool that they plan on letting you carry all your data over from the Fallout 76 beta to the actual game when it launches. There's a lot of games that won't allow you to do that. Uh, so it's really cool to see that they're going to allow you to carry your data over uh, to the game or at least they have they plan to let you carry your data over to the game when it officially launches uh, from the beta So yeah, I just want to add that in there anyways. Bye. Love you all